All right, here we go. Um, lesson 17, video two. And this was our liquid in measuring cups. This is the line plot that you have on your paper, right? And here's with the new redistribution with one half or four eighths in each cup. So what was the most frequent measurement before the redistribution? Most frequent means the one that has the most, right? Three. You can see that one-fourth was the most frequent before the redistribution. After the redistribution, everything is a half. So that's the most frequent in the new measurement. Hmm. How did we go from one-fourth to one-half? What do you notice there? Well, first you might notice that we already have three that are one-fourth but then the rest of them are more than one half, right? So if we kind of make an average, we spread them out, we can see that they're all going to end up in one half. All right, yeah, let's try some more and think about it a little bit more. Um, here is a graph of butter in the bakery. What do you notice about this line plot? Maybe you notice that there's eight data points, right? There's eight X's. Uh, we have a lot of mixed numbers. Yes. Okay. And everything is in eighths. All right. And we're looking at pounds of butter in eight different bowls. So we have eight bowls and some pounds of butter in each of those bowls. How might redistributing the amount of butter in this problem be different than redistributing the liquid in the last problem? How is this one different? Well, now we have mixed numbers, right? So we have wholes and fractions that we need to redistribute, not just fractions. Hmm, how would you like to do that? We kind of talked about some different ways that you could redistribute the um, blocks, right? Let's look at some different ways that we could redistribute this butter, right? Okay, that's not the slide we wanted. Let's look over here. There we go. All right, there's a couple of different ways that we can redistribute our butter. Sorry, I'm just looking for, there we go. All right. We could decompose. So we could take eight, because we want to keep eight, right? We could break them apart and then sort them in one by one, right? So take them all apart and just say one, 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 two, 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 right? Or we could take the holes and the fractions. So we take the holes and give one hole to each and then take all of our fractions and give them out as well. Distributing, right? Another way is to find the total. Wow, putting them all together, adding up all the whole numbers, adding up all the fractions, and we get a total of 16 pounds. 16 pounds divided by eight comes out to two pounds of butter. So they each get two pounds of butter. And I know you might be thinking, hmm, it doesn't really look like it in the pictures. But what we can't see in the pictures is that this is eight, right? And this is one hole, and eight eighths makes one hole. And over here, we have 16 eighths. So 16 eighths makes two, all right? So we have three different ways to distribute decomposing, um, doing holes and then fractions, or adding and then dividing. And of course, you can learn about all three of them, and maybe there's one in particular that you like the best, right? There could be different ones that speak to you more than others. Let's look at, this is Santa's way, right? Where she took each piece. Then we also have the holes and fractions. And then we also have adding it all up and then dividing it by the number that we have for each. Okay. Um, let's look at 
our redistributed um, line graph, right? Now it's all two pounds because it's all redistributed. So the same amount is in each bowl. Um, originally we had two and one eighths. Let's see if I can pull that one up. Um, we had two and one eighths. There we go. Okay. Two and one, two eighths, sorry. Two and two eighths was our most frequent. And now we have two as our most frequent. Can you see how we had some that was more than two, some that were less than two? And when we split them all so that we would have the same, they all became two. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Redistributing the amount. All right. Okay, that's all that we have. And we only have two videos for Lesson 17. So thank you for your hard work. And I appreciate you. Aloha.